What's up guys? It's Rad. Another day of blogs. Uh, when I enter when I enter the cage, it's uh, it's all about well number one it's about it's about winning the fight. That's that's number one. It, it's and it's also become about entertaining, performing for the people. Uh, but but mostly what I focus on is uh, the guy that's across from me. What's he gonna do? What do I need to do to be him? What's my what's my game plan? Remembering the training that I prepared for it and. And I should be able to to take on anything that comes at me in the cage. So I'm I'm, I'm thinking about winning and performing and taking care of business. The the first loss the first loss was in uh, was my second fight mm -hmm. in my career and uh, and it. And it and I and I kind of I appreciated the loss. I took more away from from getting that loss than I did from actually getting a victory. Uh, you know, it was very early in my career, and, and there was talk about, oh, Rad's gonna he's gonna crush these people. It's huge, and nobody's gonna be able to stop him. And somebody stopped me in only my second fight, and it and it, it taught me. It, it showed me that I need to get, I need to get more training in. I need to find a team. Need to find a coach, and and I need to improve. And you know, from from wrestling, I wasn't used to losing, so I lost very early, and it, it helped to drive and motivate me and, and and to focus and work harder. Now, this last loss it was was in my my last fight was against a very a very tough opponent, and uh, we we had a pretty good fight, but he he pretty well dictated the way the fight went, and uh, and and again, you know, I went I had eight straight wins, and and again now this one helped me to focus it. And, uh, and kind of, you know, remember what I needed to do. I was, I was getting into that, that, that streak where I was winning eight fights in a row, and I was saying, starting to feel pretty good, pretty confident. Mm -hmm. You think I'm a little overconfident? Though? May, maybe, maybe. You know what? Going in, I was feeling overconfident. We watched the tape, and we were like, this, there's, there's nothing really that this guy does that can hurt me. And so I was feeling very confident, and, uh, and he came out and he beat me. And, he dictated the way the fight went, and and kind of helped helped me to refocus. And uh, the the hardest part is, tr is trying to get that that mental uh, uh, you know that mental confidence back because it it kind of stirs you a little bit, makes you doubt yourself. But uh, I've had to focus in practice and, and really get that confidence back. And 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 I and I feel like I, I remember what I'm fighting for. So this this next fight, I feel like I'm gonna be even more focused and more energized and I don't want to lose two fights in a row so and, and this fight's a big fight so I, I have to win it and it helped me to, re to, to, to focus again. Cool. I, it was you know to get that to get that call from Belto it was very exciting we uh, my brother and I he was talking to a lot of the organization was trying to get that shot trying to get you know a chance to fight for a bigger organization and they were they had showed they had showed uh the interest in me for a while and uh when they finally got that call you know it's 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 exciting it's a it's a little scary too because you know you're you're fighting for a little better money you're also fighting some some stronger opponents so uh the first, the first thought was, well, it's it's time to put up or shut up. So uh, we're gonna really see if, if I'm good enough to be at this level. But it, it was exciting when they called. Uh, when when I'm when I'm out fighting, you know, and I'm traveling, my brother comes in. He he takes some days off work and and focuses focuses his attention here at home and. Uh, and I appreciate it so much. I mean, if he weren't here, A, I wouldn't be, be able to do it, and B, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything else other than who's taking care of, who's taking care of my dad at home. So uh, he, he takes days off work, and he, he knows it helps me to focus on my fight and to, and to think about what I have to do. So, uh, you know, I thank, I thank God that he's here and, and he's willing to do it. So. You know, Warrior, 
is, is appropriate. I don't know. I think I feel like I feel like every person is a, is a warrior in, in what they do every single day, whether it's uh, a guy who gets in a cage and fights, or whether it's a it's a businessman who goes and, and pushes the pencil every day. Um, we're all we're all warriors, and we're all focused on 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 what's important to us, which for me is is you know setting goals for myself and, and, and take care of my family and I think I think uh, everybody who does that is a warrior and you know if you if you called if you called me a warrior you know I, I would uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree with you because we're all warriors in in our different aspects of our life for sure.